Hello, hello everyone! Welcome to Chaos and Order, art by Susan Holt. That is me! We are here for the Some Like It Hot art sale, and this is Sunday, August 27th, 2023. Um, if you have missed any part of the art sale, don't worry, all the posts are still up. You can just kind of scroll back and read through them. Not a problem. Uh, give me some hearts, give me some likes on those posts, uh, comment if you want. I see Carolyn is here. Good morning. Well, maybe it's afternoon where you are. Hello, hello. <laughs> uh, before we get started, I am going to do some housekeeping. So for those of you who are watching live, thank you so much for being with me today. For those of you who are going to be watching in replay, thank you for watching in replay. If you do stop by in replay, go ahead and put hashtag replay in the comments. That way I know you stopped by. Uh, I see Marcy is here. Hello, hello. Studio Dog is with me, of course. And Linda is here. Hello, hello. Um, when I say something you like, give me a thumbs up. If you see something you love, give me a heart. Give me as many as you want. I love to see them float by. They are super fun. Um, I don't have Chris with me at home today, so I don't know if you can hear me or not. I hope you can. Um, I will ask later if everybody can hear me just so we can be on the same page. Um... It is Sunday, so my brain is a little slow today, so bear with me. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and pop them down here in the comment section of this video, and I will get back to you with the answer uh, as quickly as I can. If the camera is pointing down at the art today because it is studio time Sunday, then uh, and I missed your comment or I missed your question, I will watch this back later and I will reply back to you, so don't worry about that. I'll get to you as soon as I see it. But for now, I am super excited because I have um, a small painting that I'm going to demo today that's, it's already technically finished, but I'm going to put some pearls and some sequins on it because that is what I'm in the mood for. Over the last uh, three videos, so Wednesday night, Friday, and um yesterday Saturday I asked you to vote for three your your favorite of the three um, little paintings that I had oh Linda says it sounds sound is great yay thank you Linda um, and the winner is melted Sunday I know Jennifer will be very happy about that if you watched yesterday my bestie was with me and this is her choice for getting um, jewels and um, sequins on it so that's what we're gonna do today thank you all who voted and let's go ahead and just jump right in uh, I'm gonna turn the camera around for you hopefully today I will aim it so I don't get my hair <laughs> in the shot too much uh, I think I'm probably famous for that at this point all right, got to put on my more powerful glasses because, you know, middle age, it happens. All right, so this is already painted, already dried, ready to go. So I'm going to start with the pearls. And I have my plate full of jewels and pearls all ready to go over on that side. I have my um, adhesive and glue and all that kind of stuff over on this side. Um, Oh, I'm glad it's studio time Sunday today and I get to work on this for you live because I am super groggy. I had my tea this morning. I'm not so sure that helped a whole lot. I'm sure the caffeine has kicked in somewhat. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started here. So this is just a toothpick with a little dab of the adhesive I prefer on it. Since uh, they are not paying me to say the name, I am not going to say the name. I 
little tiny pearls are fun. It's teeny tinies that go on. And this little um, pencil may look like a just a regular white um, colored pencil but it is not it's it's a special wax pencil that comes with some sequins every now and again you can buy them separately too you can hear a whiny dog in the background She has been O-U-T-S-I-D-E five times in the last hour. <laughs> uh, it's, it's part of her Cushing's disease, so she has to go potty a lot. And since I am the only one home today, I may, I may take you for a W-A-L-K through the house to let her O-U-T. And yes, she is smart enough that I have to spell everything. So I will give her a few minutes and see if she calms down. She usually does. She's a good girl. Okay, I've got the small ones, the tiny little pearls on. So we'll move to the next size up. So I am not known for being a super girly girl. I have been a tomboy all my life. But I know how to make beautiful things that appeal to everyone. I have men, women, and people who are non-gender binary by my art. And I couldn't be more pleased. <laughs> that I have such a wide demographic of people who, who really love what I do. So thank you so much for your support and your patronage. Your positive feedback. And your excitement when I do something new with my art. That means an awful lot to me. So thank you very much, everyone. So uh, somebody asked me a question the other day that I, I it was in Messenger and it kind of got a little buried. So I will answer it now. And that was, um, what is the word that people use to most describe your art? And there's there's a few of them, but the the one that gets used the most is beautiful. And I'm glad you all think my art is beautiful. Because that's what art is, for me, that's what I want my art to be. I want it to bring beauty into your, your home, in your life, your office. I want to make art that makes you happy. I'm not one of those artists who has to have you know, hidden meaning in their work. I, <laughs> I really like having art that is, I like making art and having it in my house that is accessible and beautiful and well executed. You know, you can look at some paintings from artists or sculptures and since I do have a, an art degree, a uh, Bachelor of Fine Arts degree, I can tell what's well made and what's not well made. And one of my goals is to make things that will be well made and stand the test of time.
because when you purchase a piece from me, I want it to have longevity. Yes, I want it to be beautiful. Yes, I want you to love it. I also want it to stand the test of time. Mm. Yes. you to know that when you do buy a piece from me it's going to be a piece that will resonate with you for a long time and a piece that will stand up to to being looked at every day and if you have to move it'll stand up to being moved when I was younger my dad was a civil engineer he's now retired but we moved Quite a bit as a kid. Followed him from job to job and state to state. And one of the professional movers said at one point, moving three times is an equivalent damage to all of your pieces as a house fire. I thought that was really interesting. So I want to make things that if they're packed well, will survive for many, many moves, many, many years. Or like when I ship them overseas for shows, or here in the States for shows, I want them to arrive in really great condition. In one piece. ready to be enjoyed. So all of my paintings do come ready to hang. All my paintings on canvas come ready to hang right out of the box. I put the hanging wire and and everything on the back already for you. So all you have to do is decide where it goes and pop it up on the wall. The paintings like this that are on canvas panel, they will need to be framed. And um, the ones with without the pearls and jewels, if you want me to pop it in a frame and send it to you, I will do that for a little bit of an extra fee. But the ones with raised dots or the um, pearls and jewels, they will have to be done by a professional framer. I know where my skills lie and um, <laughs> framing is not it. <laughs> I find I don't, have, I have the patience for this, but I find I don't have the patience for framing a whole lot of stuff unless it's a standard size and it can just be popped into a frame. I'm using little glue dabs and my little toothpick here just so I don't get too much glue. I don't want it to ooze out too badly from under the, the pearls and the gems. It 
if I make a painting that you want and you want it to have pearls and gems on it but it doesn't uh, already say it comes with it I can add them just like this easy peasy no worries no problem just let me know Okay, I think Studio Dog has settled in the other room for a nap, which is good. <laughs> She's a good girl. So today is the last day of the Some Like It Hot art sale. So if you want 50% off of any painting I have in stock, go head up to the album section and check out the paintings that I have already created. If you want a commission, let me know we can get the right painting to you. Either commission or uh, one that's already existing in my inventory as early as next week. I think this is already looking a lot better with the uh, pearl beads on it than it was with just the white paint. tones down the white against that brown and cream and uh, copper background. I think it looks a lot better. I'm very glad that you doll decided to vote on this one. there are some of you who are used to watching fast forward time lapse <laughs> versions of art. Creating art is never a super fast process. I know that we artists are sticklers for details. This is art in real time. So I'm glad I get to show you that.
see Amber is here who's joined us. I'm at a point where I cannot scroll back and see if anybody else has joined us, but thank you so much for being here. And Amber says, love the pearls. Do you want me to put pearls on your piece? Amber's the one that won the free art giveaway on Friday. Just DM me and let me know if you want those, if you want pearls on yours. I don't know if yours needs it, but if you want pearls on it, I will put pearls on it. a little paper towel off to the side that I wipe off the dried glue from my toothpick. That way I don't get a big glob under a pearl that is not sticky enough to stick the pearl to the paint. how to do this on um, dresses for ballroom competitions for my friends and I just as a hobby we would go ballroom dancing and the studio would have a, a competition every now and again so we did a couple of those and I learned how to put sequins on a dress. It's a little bit different technique than I'm using now. This is the one I have determined is better for uh, for these paintings. But it's not dissimilar. I did do a belly dance bra for another friend that had sequins all over it too. <laughs> that was when I was in my uh, early 20s. So I love to dance. I haven't had a whole lot of occasion to dance lately because I do have um, ankle issues that pop up every now and again so I try to try to do easier exercises than dancing for my ankles So who out there dances? Do you dance? 
what kind of dancing do you do? Do you just go to a club? Do you do ballroom, let and swing? Do you belly dance? Do you do jazz dance? Hip hop? Ballet? What do you do? And do you do it for fun? For exercise? Or do you do it because that is your job? At one point, when I was 19, I did teach ballroom Latin and swing at one of the um, more well-known companies that, that teach people how to social dance. That was fun. I enjoyed the heck out of that. And honestly, I do still prefer uh, ballroom Latin and swing to almost any other kind of dancing. My husband does not dance, so <laughs> he puts up with me busting a move every now and again. I'll be listening to my, my music bopping through the house, and he'll come out of his office if he's working or out of his um, laboratory if he's doing some electronic stuff, and I'll just be cutting a rug. <laughs> He just chuckles to himself and wanders away. Okay. Then I'll do that you know, upper body dance in the car. Do you guys do that? <laughs> Wiggle a little in the car. Especially if it's a really good song. Especially if it's a Dua Lipa song right now. She's got some amazing music to dance to. That's one of the things I can't do while I'm focusing on on these paintings is wiggling around and dancing. And that's okay because there is a time for everything. When I was little, I'd get a little wiggly every now and again. Get a restaurant and stuff. You know, kids can't sit still too too well <laughs> when they're le first learning to human. So, you know, music would come on in the restaurant and I'd want to get up and dance. This is when I was like three and four. So cute age, not teenager. And I remember my parents saying, there is a time and a place for everything. This is neither the time nor the place. <laughs> I remember I had to be, I had to be probably four. And we were at a little local Mexican restaurant that we 
we frequented until they closed um, as a kid and wanted to get up and dance because the music was good. The mariachi music is amazing. So I got up from the table and I started kind of hopping around, you know, four-year-old dancing. And <laughs> my mom said, you know, this is neither the time nor the place. And I said, if it's not the time or the place, why do they play good dance music? And just then the owner walked by and he said, as long as you don't run into a waitress or a waiter who's carrying food on a hot plate, go ahead and dance. And my parents were like, do not encourage her. <laughs> and he had kids of his own and he was just laughing. So that was fun. A fun story. Blast from the past. And you may be asking yourself why is she talking about dance when she's making two-dimensional art. Well, I'm making three-dimensional art out of two-dimensional art. That's because art is da dance is art too. I guess to, to a certain degree art is dance. You know I have to make certain movements to get this glue to go on where where and how I want and the pearls to go on where and how I want. So in that sense they do overlap. You know, I have to be able to place these where I want them and, and sit in kind of a weird position for longer than I usually do. Because as you see, this takes time. Okay, I think that's it for the pearls. So let's see about the sequins. I'm going to put the sequins um, in here and I'm just going to do the first three because otherwise these dots closer towards the center get a little too small and I don't have sequins that are that tiny. But this will give it a little additional, little additional oomph, pizzazz. Some sparkle and shine. Oh yeah. Like I said before, today is the last day of the Some Like It Hot art sale. So if you have a painting in mind that you would like of mine, now is a great time to go ahead and get it because it is, everything is 50% off until midnight tonight. 
and we'll make it easy for you. It'll be midnight in your neck of the woods. So whatever, whatever time zone you are in here in the US, if it's midnight, then you snooze, you lose. And I am going to tell you that this is probably one of the only times I will do 50% off. So if you want that VIP special price, because you are my VIPs here in Chaos and Order Art by Susan Holt. If you want the VIP price of 50% off, today is the last day to get it. As my dad says, get it while the getting's good. And I'm sure y'all know by now that everything, um, every painting that I create comes with free shipping in the continental US. I will still absolutely ship a painting across seas or to Alaska, Hawaii, or any of the territories, but it'll the shipping will be additional. There will be customs fees, and in some places there's gonna be um, additional fees for you on your end when it comes in. For those of you who live in the same lower 48 U.S. states as I do, free shipping. I've already calculated it. It's already built in to the price. So we don't have to do the math. It's already done. Already done, already included. And the half price also includes uh, free shipping in the continental US. And again, that's today only. It's the last day of the sale. Last day of the sale, last day of the special event. We'll get everything wrapped up tomorrow. I do enjoy these special events. I hope you guys do too. Do you like these special events? You know, for those of you who are new here, this is your first. There'll be more. There'll be more special events. Almost done. Almost done. Four more to go. So while I'm doing these last four, I would like to remind you that Zenstay Wednesday Live is this Wednesday at 5 p.m. Arizona time. Uh, here in Arizona, we don't have daylight savings time, so our clocks never change, which is amazing. Right now, we are on Pacific time. Uh, so it'll be 5 Pacific, 6 Mountain, Seven Central and Eight Eastern. And I hope to see you there. So 
this is week five of the month. And I do a step each week for a new painting every month. All right, there we go. It is jeweled and pearled, sequined and pearled. <laughs> So tune in and see what I'm doing on Wednesday because it is the fifth week of the month. I don't really have anything planned. I, in my notes, I have something fun. So I will come up with something to do between then and now. I'm going to move this around. Hello. <laughs> I see Martina is here. Hello, hello. So if you can join me for Zen Stay Wednesday Live, I would appreciate that very much. It's going to be a much shorter show than this one was today. Also, if you want a painting um, or a commission, go ahead and let me know. I see Jonathan is here. Hi. Um, so let me know. Just slide over into my DMs and let me know what painting you want or if you want a commission. We'll get on a consultation call and we'll talk all about it. And that is going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had fun watching me um, have some Zen time and... Uh, put pearls and sequins on this little painting. It will hold it up. This is Melted Sunday and it is all blinged out. I may be, I may do a little bit more on this after I let you go today, but we will see what happens with it and I'll post a photo of it uh, next week sometime. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Bye everyone! <laughs>